Traders Domain which is owned by Ted Sanfranco is running a flat-out Ponzi scheme. I'll explain exactly how this scheme works and keep in mind that people still get payouts or withdrawals in a Ponzi scheme which is why they can last years before collapsing. The vast majority of people who are owed smaller amounts will likely see payouts however those who are owed large balances are unlikely to receive funds as the scheme comes to an end. Traders Domain is a white label broker. Anyone can create their own broker by visiting B2B Broker and getting a license and domain. This is the equivalent to creating your own website or starting a blog where you can control the content and posts. Ted has control of his broker which means he can edit or manipulate the trades the same way a blogger can change the content or posts on their website. Let me show you a cross example how easy it is to manipulate results online. Over here I have a bank account balance. I can easily just click inspect element and change the value to anything I desire. With a few clicks I am now nearly a millionaire. The same concept applies to how Ted runs Trader's Domain. He can update everyone accounts, fix losing trades and losses because he owns the broker. The reason why I'm showing you the is so you can realize just because something looks good on paper or on a screen does not mean it's real. If you are involved in Trader's Domain, or have been for some time you may notice that when you open your account you do see drawdown. However, over the past several months, Ted has blown several accounts and reported losses which were miraculously fixed later in the day. Ted claims that the losses were not aligned with what happened on the back end via meta quotes. However, if this is true, that means their servers would be out of sync, which should also raise a red flag given the volume Ted claims to be managing. If you look at Reddit and search Traders Domain, you can see many users starting to report issues with withdrawals. This particular screenshot of a user's account raises a major red flag. A gold buy from 1801.91 to 1801.45. I'm no mathematician, but I'm pretty sure that would be a sell which should have reported a loss. How is this possible? It's because Ted can update the values to anything he pleases. I encourage everyone to watch the documentary called Wizard of Lies with Bernie Madoff. Bernie ran one of the largest Ponzi schemes which lasted years before it collapsed. On paper, Bernie reported incredible monthly gains for clients. Even many were able to withdraw because new investor money was coming in. Ted likely has money but is running low and is coming as new investors enter the platform. However, with the recent withdrawal crisis at Trader's Domain, more people will panic and want to request all of their funds from the platform, which is forcing Ted to slow down with the rate of which investors can pull their funds. The main excuse Ted uses is banking delays. However, if the volume he manages is true, he would have a personal representative at the financial institution he is doing business with ensuring transactions happen as no financial institution would risk losing business with a client supposedly managing 900 million unless of course it's a Ponzi scheme and a large portion of his funds are on hold or frozen. Over on Trustpilot, many users are also reporting issues with their withdrawals especially if you sort by most recent reviews. Some users have been waiting as long as six months and continue to hear that it will be processed next week. I do believe some people who are owed smaller amounts are getting their funds which makes no sense if Ted claims to be having banking issues. It appears that some of the positive reviews may not be genuine. Ted may be purchasing reviews asking about withdrawals and saying that they are being paid out for damage control. It's relatively easy to purchase reviews on Trustpilot using this service or other services on Fiverr, Upwork, or other freelance style websites. Once again, in a Ponzi scheme, people will still receive withdrawals, which is why they can last years before collapsing. Ted's goal is to likely pay out the thousands of smaller accounts and requests to prevent a flood of negative reviews versus paying out the accounts who are owed large amounts, which would equate to less noise online. If you also think logically by paying out thousands of smaller accounts, these individuals are likely incentivized to invest more of their hard earned money or refer others to the platform. Typically individuals with larger accounts are less likely to add more funds and are the ones who are doing the big withdrawals which Ted is trying to delay. Back over on Reddit I'll reference some of the users who have been waiting months for a withdrawal. These large balances are likely to never be paid. Ted has even responded to his own users telling them they have already benefited greatly from the PMM account. My response to that is Ted has benefited greatly from taking clients' money to line his pockets. Ted's responses and replies are only used for damage control on Trustpilot to give hope to potential new investors and to hopefully pull in more money by showing that his company is responsive to requests. 
Ted seems to give the same response that funds are being processed but his timelines have been inaccurate which tells me his banking relationships aren't as strong as he claims or he simply doesn't have enough new investor money coming in the system to pay out the outstanding requests. In summary anyone in trader's domain should request all of their funds but it's likely too late. The return shown daily is what keeps people excited and invested. Unfortunately, as humans, we are naturally greedy and want more, which is why it's hard to take out what you put in. Just remember, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is.